Hi, this is Melanie Fine, and today I am interviewing these two fine young gentlemen to my right. Um, I'd like them to introduce themselves. Well, thanks, Melanie. I'm Martin Hess, uh, president of the American Club Association, and just super excited to be here. Uh, I've been a big fan of Forbes since I was in college, had a, my first business, so I'm really excited to be part of this. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Melanie, it's great to be here. Obviously, a uh, great opportunity to be here with you in Forbes, and uh, thanks for that opportunity. Um, Name is Jason Miller, founder and CEO of the Strategic Advisor Board, um, and a few others, but uh, a lot of others. You know, well, a couple <laughs> here and there, right? But uh, but yeah, and yeah, it's just great to be here. Appreciate you taking the time to come see us and spend some time with us. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> so 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 tell me, um, you you mentioned these two um, names. What do they represent? Two names, my name and his name? No, I understand the names. <laughs> <laughs> Though don't quiz me on them later. Um, but I, I still remember them. But, but, yeah. but, but ACA, Strategic yeah. Advisor Board, what, what are these, these, these companies? Yeah, well, the American Club Association, um, we've been an association of golf, tennis, city, and country clubs. Really? Throughout the U.S. and around the world over the years. And uh, our headquarters is at the Kansas City Club, downtown Kansas City, which I know you've flown over Kansas mm -hmm. City before. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I had quite a history. Uh, Eisenhower has been a member, uh, Harry Truman, uh, Omar Bradley, um, a little before my time. But, um, but after 130, 130 years, the Kansas City Club shut down. And the board launches business, they say business club concept, keep that tradition alive. So it's kind of like a 21st century version of the Kansas City Club. It looks like a cafe or coffee shop. And that's how we connected through the ACA Business Club. And so uh, this guy's an amazing resource for us. And go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, SAB is uh, basically a results-based uh, consulting firm mm -hmm. for the audience that wouldn't, I don't really know how else to say it, but um, to where it's recognizable, but we actually go into companies and we help them and we get paid off the results that we come in and help cause. That's the 50,000 foot <laughs> view of it. I have a great team of, of nine other CEOs that own their own companies away from this company and we bring in this just dynamic, uh, you know, really uh, multifunctional team that I like to say we could bring my team in, plop it into a company and say, see you in a year, come back and we'll fix everything. We don't do that, right. but <laughs> we could. <I> could. <laughs> so, but that's kind of the whole point. We got experts in every single field um, in, amongst the 10 of us. Because I only believe that one can only have, you can only have a couple things that your superpowers are. Mm -hmm. right? um, there's a lot of generalists in the world, but to truly be good at something, you can only be good at two or three things. And that's why I surrounded myself with the experts in every single field um, that have their three main superpowers to do their three things. So, and we are the only one in the world. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. That's what really impressed me with the Strategic Advisor Board is that that is true. That these consultants come and try to be all things to all people, and you really can't. You've got to be an experts in what what the brilliant what they've done is put bring together the experts in all different fields to come together to really help companies. And it's really an amazing resource for companies throughout our network too. That have all a variety of different needs, so they can bring in the the right parties to help and take them to the next scale, the next level where they want to go. Yeah, and you look at the leadership capability, and that's really why we locked arms with, uh, you know, I wanted to lock arms with Martin because ACA, well, that's like the largest business club in the world, right? So locking hands with that, being able to, you know, cross-functionally uh, do leadership together, me mm -hmm. and him as mm -hmm. two, two companies, right? The impact of that is worldwide, right? Because I'm not interested in just impacting local. I want to impact the world. That's the whole point. You know, legacy is like our surrounding, you know, our family, friends, things like that. We should set out to create a footprint, right? Footprints worldwide. Right. And that's, that's really where me and Martin have locked hands together to create that worldwide footprint. Right. Yeah. Particularly at the executive level. You know, for senior level executives and business owners with employees that have all these challenges they experience, um, they guys come in and they can take them to a whole other level in their business. So it's a great, great uh, strategic alliance, you want to call it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so let's talk about the ACA in, in, in particular. What, uh, you know, so th 
to, to be honest, this is the first time I've known that, that all of these like country clubs, et cetera, had yeah. some organization to which they belonged, <laughs> um, which, which it's know, organization for everything. So, <laughs> many, so many questions. But what are the common problems that people seek out, um, seek you out for? That's a great question. There's because a, a whole lot of problems out there and challenges. Right. In fact, the more problems, the more opportunities, the more opportunities, the more challenges, you know, overcome. Mm -hmm. So um, we actually, people, when they come in, everyone's different when they come into the network. Um, it's all invitation only. So it's a private club. Mm -hmm. You'll be invited in by one of the members willing to put the reputation on the line. Gosh, for your character. Mm -hmm. And then interviewed and approved by the board. So we actually endorse all our members, mm -hmm. put a reputation behind every member. So when somebody comes in, we actually, uh, we'll sit down with them and, and create a custom game plan. Our whole vision for the ASA Business Club, it's a whole new, we're actually spinning this off in a whole other organization. Um, our whole vision is to help them accomplish their vision. Right. So we love to sit down. I just love strategizing like this guy. That's why we hit it off so much. Just yeah, yeah. sitting down and what are you trying to accomplish? Uh -huh. And what's your vision? Where are you heading with it? And then, well, then we create a custom game plan to help them get there. And that's why it's so much fun fulfilling to help people move forward in the direction they want to go. Uh, so you, yeah. so you create the, that, that game plan and, and then there has to be something else, right? Because you can have the greatest plan, but isn't it execution that, that's the killer? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so what do you do there? Well, we actually have something called training camp. Uh -huh. uh, we have a lot of sports analogies uh, in the network because of our roots in the right. clubs. You right. Know? Right. We take people through training camp and, and it's a four week series um, where we go through their life and business vision. Uh, you start with your life vision, otherwise your business becomes your life. Uh -huh. But ha backwards half of my life, so <laughs> I get this stuff. But um, your life and business vision, what are the goals you've got to hit to accomplish your vision? And what are the uh, marketing strategies you can embrace working with others? And that's really our strengths is working with others to get to where you want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can fill your pipeline, accomplish your goals, accomplish your vision. Right. We call that pregame in the locker room or strategize uh -huh. in the locker room, uh -huh. right? Right. Then we hit the field's game time the next session. And we go through the process of, uh, of engaging new clients. So you start with a prospective client, becoming a client, getting all laid out, and it's customized. So there's some awesome companies that have great training. We weave that into it. And then uh, finally, post-game analysis, help them analyze their CRM system, their customer relationship management system, to know whether they're winning or losing the game of business mm -hmm. and why. You know, if you're losing, you know, what are you doing? You can go back and analyze that and start winning again. Probably bring these guys in. Not mm -hmm. probably. Right. <laughs> Everyone yeah. needs a strategic advisor board and Jason the team. But um, this is a very intentional strategic approach to get to, get to where you want to go. And that's what we're all about. Fabulous. Yeah. If, if, you, if you had, if you could give advice to, to, to leaders, to future leaders, um, knowing, knowing the obstacles that you've, that you've witnessed and help people maneuver and overcome, what piece of advice, um, in general, could you could you could you sum that up in some way that you know to to a future leader or someone who's just starting out? The, what uh, what is your advice to, to for those most common obstacles that that face yeah, the people well, face? Great great question. Um, and the reason we're experts is just made more mistakes than everybody else. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we learn and we learn from them. You know, and <laughs> it's much easier to learn from someone else's mistakes and learn from, learn your own. But you know, you including have to, you leadership have to learn mistakes. From your own, right? Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, and leadership mistakes. <laughs> Um, you know, really, the, what we found is, you know, this servant leadership thing you hear about, it's really true, it, and it really works. And so, and, the, and I think the reason it works is because it's leading by example. Mm -hmm. And so, as a leader, if you're, you know, have your people that you work directly with, and um, it, by leading by example, serving those folks, then they turn around and see that leading by example, and they serve their people, and eventually, you, they're serving the customers, in their case, the members, as our case, our customers. And that's where it all comes down to is, is your customers. You have no, cus no customers, you have nothing. And so just loving your customers, serving them and helping them, and it just it, it runs through the entire organization. So really, um, the servant leadership model is so key, we found. But what, what I've been fun is we actually have uh, opportunities for people to step up and be leaders of the network and practice leadership. Because mm -hmm. one thing to talk about, there's some awesome books out there. Um, you know, John Maxwell fan, uh, Jim Rohn, he's a Jim Rohn fan. Um, for most of your listeners are probably listen, familiar with Jim Rohn. Right. He's been weaved into the fabric of the American Club Association over the years. Really? In fact, the reason professional development is a pillar of the club because of Jim. If you know his philosophy, that's the philosophy of the club. And so, um, but just a chance to practice uh, what people preach. There's awesome, great books out there. These guys have amazing materials and mm -hmm. stuff. And then we have a chance to actually practice, you know, forming committees and Business development teams, we call them, small groups working together. And, and so a chance to uh, practice what you what we preach. And so it's, that's a lot of fun to, you just got to do it, though. You can't just talk, read about it. You got to actually practice being a leader. And there's, yeah. there's a cool yeah. synergy because one of the good things that, like, I think I believe anyway, um, 
why me and Martin really connected so well is because we both believe in the give value for as long as it takes, right? Because if you just give value for as long as it takes, it will come back, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It always does, right? So put the people first. Don't worry about everything else. The second you put the money first, yeah. money, you put that first, that equals failure mm -hmm. every time. I've seen it hundreds of times. And always lead with value and lead with it as long as it takes. And if you do that, you know, cliche maybe, but right. the, the world is your oyster. It, re it really is. And right. I think that's a big part of why me and Martin kicked it off so well the very first time because it was yeah. like both our companies are value, value, value driven. And, you know, it's almost a rarity in today's c business culture, right? That people do put, you know, their prospects and clients number one, right? And don't worry about the money part of it. Yeah. If you're willing to set aside that little bit of self gratification for mm -hmm. a minute, you know, you can build an empire. Interesting. So, for sure. Yeah, I think yeah. most many businesses today are like quick in, quick out, yeah. quick buck, right? Investing in long term relationships and you mm -hmm. nailed it, adding value to people. Right. And that's what we really train people on. And particularly when it comes to the networking world, we're not a networking organization. We do a lot of networking events, though. Mm -hmm. And we train people how to network effectively and build relationships. And uh, the value part comes in as he nails it because the key is adding value to others before they add value to you. Right. You know. And, and so we have, I'll share some of our secret sauce here with you. Okay, okay. that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> First time ever, we, this is all in our, in our internal playbooks, okay, we call it. It's called ACA Sphere Marketing. Say it again. ACA Sphere Marketing. Sphere? Sphere. Not sphere, fear marketing. Sphere. sphere. S P H E. Yeah. Yeah. Sphere marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Not, I get not it. Fear. I get it. We don't want to market. <laughs> I, I thought it was spear marketing. Spear, <laughs> spear marketing. That could hurt. You know, but Poke your clients. <laughs> get them on the spear. Hold on. Hold on fast. <laughs> uh, so, so spear marketing. Um, and what, it really just comes down to what Jason's talking about adding value to others before they add value to you. So we create events that they can uh, reach out and to their sphere of influence, all your clients, colleagues, contacts. Uh, family, friends, everybody that you influence. And then um, offer to invite them, just offer to make introductions for people. You're not selling yourself, you're not selling anything, you're just helping people, adding value to people. And that's what it's all about. And you build that relationship first and the business flows out of that. But if you can first add value to somebody, like you're talking yeah. about, that's, that's the key. That is you know? the key, And for it's, sure. it's really fun to see that take place, yeah. Very <laughs> nice, well, anything else that you wanna add before we, we, we complete this interview? Well, I just, uh, I'm excited to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. And, you know, I uh, actually, one thing we, we could share that has not been, uh, not been released at all yet, Is but one thing we're working on, exclusive? inside information, exclusive, exclusive right here. Right, exclusive, yeah. right. We are working on uh, creating an executive, uh, executive level or executive club for specifically senior level executives and business owners with employees mm -hmm. that really uh, share the similar challenges. And uh, we're looking at partnering with these guys, um, Strategic Alliance, we, we don't define it all yet, but we're putting the heads together and it creates some amazing value for people right. and they have incredible content they got an amazing team that, um, that the strategic, strategic advisor board putting together so we're going to be releasing that information this fall and so something to look forward to but just to add a ton of value to these folks and and learning from each other and learn from these guys and just taking their company to a whole nother level excellent so that's we're excited about i look that. forward to that will yeah. you let yeah. me know when that happens maybe absolutely we'll, maybe we'll talk again oh it'd be fun it'd be fun Great. For sure. yeah Great. so it's so good nice to spend time with you thank you today. for joining me today. <laughs> right. remember kindness is free Kindness is free. Kindness is free. Yes, it is. There you go. That's good. All right. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks, Melanie.